One Champions League winner for each position in my starting 11 going back to 2013 all the way to 2023. I'm gonna build a crazy team. Now, this is a little bit scary because we're really going to test my ball knowledge. I'm going to try to grab the most important player that was on the winning Champions League team for that year. So, for let's say 2024 coming up, let's say, you know, Real Madrid wins it, I could pick like Jude Bellingham. That's just an example. I'm not really saying Real Madrid's going to win it in 2024. We don't know yet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and always subscribe as we enjoy doing these videos for y'all. I love you guys, man. I want you to stick around, so make sure you subscribe. Again, I am a little bit nervous because I'm going to kind of test my ball knowledge and then try to build a team with the ball knowledge, and a lot of you guys might think differently, but here we go. Let's get into it. We'll start at 2023, and I think we should go backwards all the way to 2013. Let's rock with it. 2023 is already going to be a very, very complicated choice because a lot of people are going to say that Holland was the most important player at City. And I would agree with you in a way because Holland is the difference. Once he showed up at Man City, they were able to win a Champions League. So a lot of you saying Holland is the right answer. But instead, I am going to go with I'm going to go with Rodri for 2023 Champions League because this guy in the defensive mid position is just so important. The IQ you have to have of football to be able to help the defense and then get the ball forward. I mean, without Rodri there, would Holland have done what he did in this competition? I'm not sure. But it could have been Holland, and it definitely could have went to my boy Rodri. So I'm going to give it to Rodri because there's a lot of awesome choices as we go on. But Holland, I love you, but Rodri was massively important to Man City. For 2022, the answer is easy. For 2022, I say the answer is easy because Vinicius Jr. had a monster year. Like literally almost a breakout, a year where he really put his stand, like, uh, bro, he, I remember like uh, right before that, Ben Zemo was like, don't pass to Vinicius Jr. He plays for the other team. There was stuff inside the Real Madrid locker room saying Vinny wasn't that guy. And then boom, Vinny comes out of nowhere, shocks the world, plays incredible, and Real Madrid win the 2022 uh, Champions League. And that right there in itself, I, when I say that out loud, it feels so long ago, and it was literally not even that long ago. 2022, big Vinicius Jr., Benzema, massively important for Real Madrid, but I'm going to go with the one and only Vinny for the year 2022. What about the year 2021? You're probably starting to catch a little bit of a theme with me, right? Chelsea won the 2021 Champions League, and I am going with them because, and Conte because I just believe the defensive mid position is such a important, like it's the spine of a team. It's literally the backbone of a team. Team, And Conte is one of the best defensive mids to ever do it, bro. So I'm going to go with Rodri for 2023, and 2021, I'm going to go with Conte. That's going to make out our Champions League winning midfielders. And what an unbelievable midfield. Could you imagine Rodri and Conte on the team together, like playing on the same team? It would just be a team you couldn't get by in the midfield. Unbelievable midfielders. Conte was so important to Chelsea. Massive piece of Chelsea's success. Massive piece of, uh, uh, of success in, in, in England with Chelsea. Just amazing player. So, ladies and gentlemen, Lil Conte, welcome to the team. 2020 Champions League, one that a lot of us will never ever forget. It was played in the Stadio de Luz in Portugal, my Benfica team. Empty stadium, no fans, PSG versus Bayern, Mbappe and Neymar taking on Bayern and they almost did it. If I'm being honest, I think PSG might have been the better team in that game if I'm being honest with you, but Afonso Davies and Bayern saw them off and they won it all. And I'm going to go with Big Afonso Davies for this one because he was a massive point of uh, a piece of Bayern's going forward, attacking, good on defense as well. Just a huge part of Bayern and the way they attacked and defended. So I'm going to go with Afonso Davies for the 2020 Champions League. Closed doors, no fans, crazy year. Big Champions League win for the Germans. 2019! Sala Sala. I mean, bro, the Egyptian king, the beast, the machine, the years of dominating for Liverpool. It goes on. Now, this is one of those ones where you could really be like, yo, was it him or was it Mane? Was it money time or was it Salah? Who was the one? But Salah's always been such a key part. If you would have picked Mane here, I wouldn't have... You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even tried to argue it. Mane was incredible for Liverpool. They had so many incredible players in this team. VVD, but the truth is, Mo Salah, 
the heartbeat of Liverpool is going in for the 2019 Champions League winning side Liverpool. Mo Salah, welcome to the team. And look at the squad we have so far. This is magical. 2018, Real Madrid. And Real Madrid gets Navas. And I want to talk about this because he was part of the three-peat team. So let's get into this, man. Navas is one of the most disrespected players in all of football. I don't care what nobody says. Y'all can say my ball knowledge is in the mud and I'll take that. But this goalkeeper, even to modern day today, as I speak to you guys right now, um, when I'm recording this, Navas probably would be better than Donnarumma for PSG. PSG just played Barca and the first goal or the second goal, I forget which one it was, Nava, uh, Donnarumma knocked the ball directly into a player. It was terrible defending, terrible goalkeeping. I think Navas was so important in the 3 P, and then they just got rid of him for Courtois. And I know there's better goalkeepers out there than Navas, but the truth is Navas is a stud. And the man did a 3 P. The man was a monster. The man was a key part of Real Madrid. And I know instantly people go, Sergio Ramos, Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale. I agree. All these players were monstrous in the 3 P. But Navas, 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 Navas. This guy made monstrous saves, huge sp saves, especially in 2018. This guy was crazy good. Which then brings us to 2017, where I think, and please don't quote me on this, I think this was noodle hair Cristiano Ronaldo. I think it was noodle hair Cristiano Ronaldo. Regardless, Ronaldo throughout the three-peat was one of the greatest players ever. That's three-peat Ronaldo was just a monstrous player. Everybody will know this man for, the, for what he did, the way he made history with Real Madrid. But 2017 Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid Champions League win. I mean, it was the second of the three P, I believe. Um, it was just monstrous, bro. And again, I think that might have been Noodle Hair Ronaldo, which in my opinion is probably the best Ronaldo we've ever seen in his career. Um, but I think that was 2017. I think. I'm not a million percent sure, but I think it was. Or maybe that was 2018 Ronaldo. Regardless, Cristiano Ronaldo has to be in this team for helping Real Madrid get a massive Champions League. So who is going into this team for 2016? 2016 is a guy that a lot of people won't give a massive amount of credit to, but I think he deserves his flowers. So let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, the right back that plays for Real Madrid as they won the Champions League in 2016, Carvajal. This guy is a guy that not a lot of people talk about when you talk about the massive Real Madrid 3 P. You talk about Marcelo, you talk about Ronaldo, you talk about Bale and Benzema, and you talk about Sergio Ramos, but this guy's not talked about enough. Carvajal was a big piece of the way they defended, the way they attacked, the way they get forward, the way they play. He is a monstrous part of Real Madrid and continually still doing it to this day in 2024. That's a long time playing for one club and doing it at a high level. So, Carvajal, welcome to the Champions League team for what you did in 2016. Welcome to the squad, lad. We get to the beautiful 2015. And 2015 was the year of Messi. Now, I could throw in 97 rated Messi, but I'm going to throw in the new Inter Miami pink Messi. But this was the year, 2015, and I believe this is the MSN year, right? Messi, Ronaldo, I mean, excuse me, Messi, Neymar, and Suarez, and big Messi doing Messi type things, lads. Let's, I mean, wh where do we, where do we begin? We know he was the most important player on that Barcelona team. We know how great Messi is, and it couldn't be a Champions League winning team without Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. So, ladies and gentlemen, Messi is directly into this team for the effort that he put in in 2015 for Barcelona, a team and a jersey that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. And then even at the end, the celebrations, I believe that's the celebrations where Neymar has the headband on that says Zeus on it. And it's just a crazy, awesome celebration. I, it was pictures I'll never forget in my head. For the rest of my life, I'll remember it. Congratulations to Barcelona for 2015. And Messi, welcome to the squad. We are into 2014. Real Madrid does it again. Real Madrid and Sergio Ramos, ladies and gentlemen, Sergio Ramos. Uh, for me, if not the greatest center back of all time, second best behind Maldini. Why? Um, the man started as a baby at Madrid and played his entire career pretty much at Real Madrid. Left at the back end of his career. Dude never lost his spot, never really got benched, always held himself to a high standard, won a crazy amount of Champions Leagues with this team. Um, just was honestly the heart and soul of Real Madrid. Um, 
And and I just think that what this guy achieved in football was out of this world. So I have him just as high as I have Maldini, an incredible center back. And he is going to be in here for the 2014 Real Madrid Champions League win. And that's crazy, right? To think that Real Madrid has one, two, three, four players, five players in the starting 11 is just out of this world. And it leads us to 2013, where Bayern did it again. And the final, 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 final center back, final player that's going to make this team is going to be David Alaba for his, actually, let me get a different David Alaba in there, um, for his success that he had with Bayern, just an unbelievable center back. This is when he really kind of popped off, I think. I think I, I don't want to say it's when he first popped off, but a lot of people really got to know David Alaba right here. Um, 2013, Bayern team wins the Champions League. He was there for, it was massive. And this is the team I've come up with. And again, y'all might think my ball knowledge is terrible, but I went year for year picking one player from each of those special teams. And this is the team that I came up with it's it's unbelievable it's Conte it's Rodri chemistry in the mud but the team itself is outstanding and I'm gonna try to win a game in FC 24 with it hopefully I can do that Messi will be uh on his left foot on 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 the right so I can cut inside Ronaldo on the left there's no chemistry on Messi no chemistry on Ronaldo no chemistry on Conte no chemistry really anywhere but that's okay because when you have players this good hopefully we can still win the game right hey my Champions League winners 2023 to 2013. Did I say that right? I think I did. Let's jump into some gameplay. I'm going to be 100% real with y'all lads. I think I'm going to lose. Not having chemistry in FC 24 is kind of a big deal. And this guy has an incredible team. Look at that, man. Ronaldo, Conte, uh, Thierry Henry. It's a remarkable team, lads. And your boy has zero chemistry. I have unbelievable talent. Talent all over the field. Vinicius Jr., Ronaldo, Messi. But no chemistry, bro. And let's be honest, in football, chemistry is important. Already, I am on defense, and already I am getting cooked. But my boy David Alaba slows it all down for us and kind of defends it very well. Afonso Davies, I tried to get it to Vinny. That did not work. Shout out to my boy David Alaba for putting the team on his back. He's playing really well right now. Here's Messi. I'm going to go to Conte. Does the ball fall to him? No, I messed the pass up with Messi. Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry, Afonso Davies defends. I almost messed it up. Clear, clear, clear. All right, come on. We're back. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're fine, right? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Salah. Messi. Good turn, Messi. Good turn, Messi. I got kind of a hell. I use him. Uh, I don't want to shoot with kind of a hell. I have to, though. It's in with kind of a hell. It's in with kind of a hell. What a hit from the Spanish man. Messi finds kind of a hell. I don't know why he's up there. Well, I kind of made him go on a run. And Carvajal on his right foot smacks it into the back of the net. And I guess I chose the right right back if you ask me. Messi! Messi, big steal! Messi shoots! Messi misses! What? How did he miss? David Alaba got cooked by Thierry Henry! Navas can't get to it. 1-1. One, one. No, boys. No, 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 no. Where's our defense, man? Salah, good steal. I burned Rafael Marquez. It's Salah. It's Mo. It's Mo. It's Mo. I ball roll backwards. He lost it. Nah, Mo. Come on. Thierry Henry is through again, lads. It is all Thierry Henry here. He scores again. 2-1. Back-to-back goals for Thierry Henry. Couple misses. Mo Salah missed a sitter. Not really a sitter, but a cutback. And man, here we go. Unreal, dude. Conte dancing. Gets around. This is Ronaldo. Ronaldo shoots. Cristiano. Cristiano. CR. He does it. He finds the back of the net. It's in there like swimwear. CR7 saving us like he saved Madrid so many times throughout that three-peat run. What a play. What a goal. What a player. No, dude. There's no way. 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 On a counter. On a counter, bro. Our defense is shambles. We literally had just tied the game. We had just tied the game, bro. Off a kickoff and off of a counter, he scores. That's such nonsense, man. Come on, lads. I don't think I can catch him. I don't think I can catch Thierry. I don't think I can catch Thierry Henry, lads. Thierry Henry cooked the score at 4-2. Our back line is getting destroyed. I literally tied the game up, boys. And now we are just getting absolutely worked. Absolutely worked. Come on, boys. Come on. Here's Vinny. Popped into Messi. Messi shoots. He missed. 
Messi is having a awful game, dude. Awful game, awful game from Messi. Here's Rodri, put into Ronaldo. Ronaldo shoots, it's 3-2. Cristiano, Messi missed. Ronaldo said, yo, 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 I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Good goal from Cristiano. We're down by one. Big pass from Mo Salah. Messi, come on, man. Please show up, Messi. I need you. Come on, Messi. Make a play, baby. Make a play. Vinny, Rodri, Messi, Messi, Messi! Messi, Messi, Messi ties at four. Messi ties it at four, lads. Messi, Messi, when we needed him the most. Messi shows up when we need him the most. Oh, I passed it. Nah, Messi, bad pass. Really, really bad pass. Mia Hamm versus Sergio Ramos. I had to. 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 It's a red. 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 It's a red, lads. I had to. Ah, this is a Champions League game, isn't it? Sergio Ramos just received a red card. This is Champions League. This is Champions League if I've ever seen one. Wow, wow, wow. You can't write this story, man. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, man, 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 man. I had to foul. I had to. He was going to score. I had to foul. I had no choice. I had to foul there. I had no choice, bro. That sucks, man. Take the free kick, lad. Come on, man. Kick the ball, man. Kick the ball, man. What are we doing, man? Kick that thing, man. Good save, Navas. Dale, Messi. Dale, Messi. Messi, good play. I got Ronaldo back post. I use him. It's Ronaldo and Messi. This lag is out of control. Wait, no, he's offside. No, no way. Ronaldo was offside, lads. I thought I scored. Why is the lag so bad? I really thought I scored. I legitimately thought I scored. I thought there was no offside. Nah, Mia Ham just caught Conte. Nice tackle, Conte. What? No, this ref. Nah, 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 this ref. The lag is out of control. The ref is calling dumb calls. I wasn't even offside, was I? Was he offside? Maybe he was. Reese James. Reese James. Oh. Afonso, dude, send the ball instantly. No way, no way, no way. No, 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 that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not, no, for, that's just a break, bro. Bad break for the boys. Why is it lagging so hard, lads? So annoying. Oh, so annoying. Thierry Henry, game over. I, I don't know if we deserve to lose, man. I don't know if we deserve to lose, lads. I thought we played incredible, man. The chemistry really got there because Messi had so many chances and he was missing left, right, and center. I definitely think it was a little bit the chemistry affected him massively. We had crazy awesome performances from the boys as well, man. Messi picked up a goal and assist. Ronaldo picked up two. Rodri had one assist. Salah had one assist. Conte with one assist. Not enough from Vinicius Jr., and the back line was atrocious. Then Sergio Ramos got a red card as well. But yeah, Messi had a few chances, man. You can see that um, he put up a lot, a lot of shots. But some just didn't go our way. And the goal I scored with Cristiano Ronaldo, I, I didn't think it was offside. But I guess it was, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but incredible, man. Just an incredible all-around game. I tried my best to win it. This one breaks. So unlucky for us, man. Really, really unlucky. And George Bestie scores. But what a game for us. I want to blame the lag. I want to blame the chemistry. But there's no excuses. When you play with a team this good, you should win it. You should get the dub. But I messed up and got a red card with Sergio Ramos. And it led to the story of us ending up losing with a team that barely lost. A team that they won many things, these Champions League winners. Incredible players, incredible game. Unfortunately, I couldn't win it all. This kind of sucks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what team you would love to see next. But that is, a, that is a team with Champions League winners in every spot. Love you guys. Subscribe, thumbs it up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.